What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Time to show you guys the Air Jordan 7, Chambray. All right guys, now these officially came out today for a retail price of 200 bucks. Now these officially came out in 2006 for the first time ever for a retail price of 120. So now we're getting a $20 increase from what Jordans normally cost around this time of year, but we get a special price of $200 on these. Uh, we do get an OG box right here. I did go with a size nine on these. I didn't go with a size 9.5 like normally because it was sold out. Um, it's just retail on this is once again, 200 bucks. We don't see that on the box at all. They stopped doing that for about a year and a half now. On the back and on the front of the box here, it does say Nike Air. On the top, it is black with the jump man right there. Open up the top of the box, the stamp on the top of the box right there, which is in blue. The bottom half of the box is in gray and black paint splatters. Normal tissue paper, nothing too crazy. And this is the shoe right here. I like this colorway a lot. What do you guys think about it? Here's both the outside and the inside of the shoe. Taking out the other shoe. All right. Uh, we do get some stickers on the inside of the box, the white and green sticker. The current resale on this shoe is already at 170 guys, and the shoe just came out today. And it's been like that for quite some time. Now, this is not a shoe that people are sawing after, and you know, you can pretty much get any shoe for a good price right now. It's the best time to buy some shoes because you get them for retail or just over retail. And if you wait a little bit longer, you will possibly get them for under retail. You know, sneaker reselling isn't what it once was, and I think companies are starting to realize, like, well, you know, we're already you know over the market of what we made on the shoe we get 40. i don't know what the split is exactly what boutiques and uh you know foot locker gets from the shoe but i believe it's like 50 or 40 percent of the shoe and you know if they sell it for a little bit less they're still making their profits i honestly don't know why the market is like that like but it has to be something to do with employees or nike employees or something like that where they get a discount and just be able to sell the shoe because there's no reason why shoes should be this low honestly before it even comes out so it has to be some inside type of stuff that's going on but anyway let's get right into it guys this is the shoe right here the bottom of the shoe right here it is black gray and like a baby blue you could possibly still find these on the sneakers app at the time of this recording i'm gonna show you guys the sizes available right here but this is the shoe as you guys can see um, I really like the color scheme on the bottom of the shoe is really nice looking at the midsole of the shoe is black gray and like that baby blue or chambray same thing on the inside coming up towards the base of the shoe right here we get this suede on all of the shoe we just see some blue hits towards the top of the ankle and on the back and on the tongue area now I do like the shade of the black suede of the shoe it's really tight you get a pattern change on all the patterns of the shoe but this is the outside of the shoe right here with some black stitching all right, pretty dope in my opinion. Let me know if this is a copper drop for you guys. Show you guys the outside right here once again. Same thing on the inside of the shoe. All right, now if you wait a little bit longer, I'm pretty sure you can find these for way under 170, but that's just my opinion if you give it like a month or two. But um, what do you guys think? Coming towards the toe box of the shoe here, these will crease up on you, but not as easy as other shoes. And since this is black, you can barely possibly tell when it does start creasing up. But if you guys wanna use some crease piece protection, you guys can use my code of Y Davis to save yourself five bucks. Looking at the mud guard here, we see a lot of glue stains on both shoes on the mud guard, as you guys see on my pairs. A lot of glue stains right there. Underneath that, it is black and gray. All right, unfortunately, we only do get one pair of laces on these and they come with the black laces and they come with plastic on top of the tips. I wish they would have came with metal tips or gold tips. I think that would have brought the shoe a lot more pop. We do get this neoprene tongue. All right, with some holes on the bottom of it going up towards the top here. At the top, it says Air Jordan and like that chambray colorway. And everybody's tongue is different. Let me know if you guys like the way your tongue color is. I know everybody's tongue is different. So just because you have a different tongue than me doesn't mean that something is wrong with it majority of the air jordan 7s that you see are going to have a different style on the tongue so let me know if you like your patterns on your tongues on the inside of the tongue here it tells us where the shoe is from and the production base on this was 0201.23 to 0407.23 give you guys a quick look at that real fast on the inside of the sock lining on the booty here we get that chambray color and like that neoprene all right we do get some very thick tissue inserts on these the actual insole on this is kind of different than what we're used to seeing. All right, they are comfortable, but not as comfortable as other shoes. All right, and on the back here, it also says that the shoe goes in the Air Jordan 9 and the 8. I'll show you guys the back of the insole right here. And on the front, it is black sizing sticker on top of the logo, not the bottom of the logo, but the Jumpman in the chambray color. All right, underneath that, it's kind of like gray and some white stitching. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, we get a pull tab on these and like great it has a 23 and a 7 right there if you guys could look at that and notice the 7 but uh that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoes guys now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now 
Okay guys, those what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine. I'm gonna get nine and a half on my shoes. I actually did get these in a size nine because nine and a half was sold out. I will say I wish I would have got a nine and a half though. Um, this is a true to size fitting shoe if you'd like a snug fit, but if you need, um, you know, a little bit of space in your shoes or have a wider foot or just want a better wearing experience, go up half a size in my opinion. I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right here, so I'm working around, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. So I do have a little bit of space in the front of the toe box, but I have no room for error on the inside right here. Like when I'm pushing down this material, as you can see, my foot is not really moving a little bit higher. I do have a little bit of space, but on the outside right here, you see, I have no room for error right here. So this this is my foot on this material and i don't really like that on the unloose pair this is normally how i like to wear my shoes unlaced i don't have any slippage on here but i still do feel like tightness here um it's not as bad as on a laced up pair but because i did loosen it up and it did give me you know some space where i did loosen up the shoes right there but that's just my verdict on this shoe and i'm gonna show you guys what they look like with different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned Thank you. 